Hey all, Jason Deepel here, and if you got to this point in the video, you clicked on the actual power box here. This is the U90 set, and I ordered weights all the way from five pounds up to 90 pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through and open these up. Um, the price for the U90 initial set from 50 pounds is $379. So sounds pretty um, considerable price, $400. But when you get up to weights this big, you know, 50 pound dumbbells, you're going to be spending $100 on a pair. So to get an adjustable dumbbell to go up to 50 pounds, you're actually saving a lot to get just this small box instead of that whole set of weights over there. So actually, we're showing that real quick. This one top box replaces the weights from here all the way down to here and that's only 45 so it'd be a couple extra weights in there and, and imagine just all that now is replaced with this one box so we're just going to take you to the opening box obviously i've just cut that open the first thing that you see in here is their little um booklet that comes with it owner's manual kind of shows you the right way to put them together you don't want to unalign the pins. Shows you the different parts of it. Wrist supports, dial lock. Gives you some danger warnings here. How the adder weights go in. Shows you the uh, warranty. The other thing here is it shows you the difference between the different sets. There's a U20 urethane 20 pound set, urethane 33 pound set, 70, 90, and then a couple different kinds of kettle blocks. This is also your warranty on the information. All right, one thing I'll say about all the different power box stuff that we've ordered today, and this was a pretty big order, about $1,500 total, is that it's all been very well packaged. There's only one box that was damaged and there wasn't any damage to the product in it. So everything has been really well packaged. The foam on the top, then the actual weight here is in a plastic thing to keep it clean. And there's another foam on the bottom. So these really aren't going to be damaged at all while you ship that. <clears throat> so this is your power block here. Um, and right here on the side here, we can show you that this goes black, white, orange, and green. So this goes all the way up to the green weight. You can look here on the front, and the green weights will go up to 50 pounds. So when I have everything assembled as shown, this is a 50-pound weight. So a couple things here, you can take out the pin on the side, and this is how the pin looks like. It's got two little plugs that you plug into each side there, and you can see better here how you would do that. In fact, this pin would work on either side, but it has a little elastic cord to it, and when I first got my set of power box, I was worried that this would wear out. This is actually super strong, and you know, stayed on forever for the last seven years for me. And just clip it into whatever weight you want. If you get confused about what weight you want, you look at this color-coded section. So now that I've disattached that, it's basically the empty block. Your first color here is black. So black represents 15, 17, and 20 pounds. Um, with, without that, you only have the weight of this guy. Um, and you can adjust that. Here at the top it says closed. I can move that to the open position and then these two adder weights come out. So that's the difference between the top weight here and the bottom weight. It's 15 pounds with the two adder weights. If we add one adder weight, it goes to 17 and a half. If we add two, it goes to 20. So there's an extra five pounds of adder weights. And this handle itself weighs five pounds. So here's your five pound arrangement. If I put one in, I'm at seven and a half pounds. If I put two in, I go up to 10 pounds. And then as soon as I go with the black bar and two adder weights, I'm up to 20 pounds. If I want to come down from that, I would open this back up, get rid of this. The handle itself is five pounds. First adder weight is 10 pounds. So when I clip this together, now I'm with a 15 pound configuration 10 for the weight and 5 for the handle. 
of. So I think that pretty much summarizes the operation of how the individual power block works. One thing I want to show you here is how this size compares. This is another thing I like about adjustable, this particular adjustable weight in general. This is a 45 pound dumbbell and this weight itself will go up to 50 pounds. So when you look at the length of this, the length of the actual dumbbell here is even longer than the power block. It's not much difference per, for this particular weight, but as you get heavier and heavier weights, a 90 pound dumbbell might be all the way out to here. Um, this <clears throat> power block U90 and 90 pounds won't be that far out. And again, the thing that where that comes into play is when I'm doing a, like a, a curl, you know, especially like a twisting curl in like this, um, I want to have a nice small handprint so I can get a really good big twist on this. If I was working with the same size, the same poundage of dumbbell, I'm going to have to be a little bit farther out. And as soon as I do that, that starts to change the whole form. So if you're trying to work on a, you know, a nice tight twisting move like that, something really close over your head, it's nice to have a small footprint. And it just affords you the opportunity to do more and more moves. Um, I pretty much just wanted to do an open box here and show you the U90 as it ranges from 5 pounds with the empty chassis. all the way up to 50 pounds with the green attachment made and pretty much everything in between. And the one cautionary thing I'm gonna to say to you about this particular set is because the set leaves room to go all the way up, there's one increment of weights that you miss every 10 pounds. So this can do 10 pounds fine. That was just the block with the two adder weights. It can also do 15 pounds, which is the empty handle with the first, the first uh, set of adjustable weights attached to it. It doesn't do 12 and a half pounds. Now it does a lot of the half pounds. It does 17 and a half, 27 and a half, 37 and a half, 47 and a half. It does half of those two and a half pound increments but every 10 pounds it misses one half pound increment. So the increments that you miss with this set are 12 and a half, 22 and a half, 32 and a half, 42 and a half, 52 and a half, 62 and a half, 72 and a half, and 82 and a half. When you're at a 12 and a half pounds, that's an increment that you might want to use with certain low rep weights. Um, but anything below say 20 or 30 pounds, it's very cheap to go and buy the small cast iron plate for it. The, the cast iron weight dumbbell. At two and a half pound increments, almost are too small to go because you're gonna be doing that for military press, bench press, you know, flies. And at that point, you're gonna to wanna to jump up in five pound increments. The U70 set actually gives you those extra increments. But what happens is that only goes up to 70 pounds. So when you're making this decision, and it's really not much difference in price between the 70 pound U90s, which would be 518, or the 70 pound U70s, which go to 547. So the weight, the price isn't much difference. The difference is, do you want dumbbells that go up to 90 pounds and have less adjustability, or do you want dumbbells that have more adjustability, but only go up to 70 pounds? So really when you make that decision, think about what's the top end of weight that I wanna be doing? Is there anything that I'm gonna do over 70 pounds? And for me, the answer is yes. Number one, on lawnmowers, right? When you're doing lawnmowers, that's a move down like this. I can definitely go over 70 pounds of that move. And as you get more and more into bodybuilding, as you're gonna be doing big chest press, you might wanna go above 70 pounds. So for me, it makes more sense to get the U90s. Has a little bit less adjustability, 12, 22, uh, 32, 42, but it's going to go all the way up to 90 pounds, and this is going to be the only set of weights that I need. Again, when we get on to using the curl bar attachment, you're going to want to be able to do as much weight as possible if you're talking about a bench press or a big curl. So I think the bigger weights for me makes more sense. If you're not going to do anything over 70 pounds, I would say go with the U70s because it gives you more adjustability. All right, guys, I hope that helps and you're getting 
some some utility out of these videos. You know, if you have any questions, feel free to personal message message me. If you like the videos, go ahead and do me a favor by subscribing and look at all the other power block and other fitness videos that we have. Thanks so much.